Meanwhile, the European Union top court has ruled that Poland must pay a fine of nearly about $1.16 million per day for ignoring a ruling on the country's judicial reforms. The court observed that the decision was necessary in order to avoid any serious and irreparable harm to the legal order of the European Union. The point of contention is the disciplinary chamber of the Supreme Court, a body that the ruling party has empowered to discipline judges. Many Polish judges view the chamber as a tool to pressurize judges to rule in favor of the government of the day. In the month of July, the EU court had ruled that Poland should in fact suspend the disciplinary chamber of its Supreme Court as it had failed to guarantee impartiality. Poland has also said that it will abolish the chamber but has not yet presented any kind of a detailed plan to do so. Last month, the European Commission had requested penalties on Poland for failing to comply with the court's ruling. Poland, for its part, has sought to annul the July order, but this move was dismissed by the court. Now, should Poland refuse to pay the fines, they will continue to pile up. The court has also got the power to increase the size of the fine. The court ruling drew a very furious response from Poland's ruling party. Now, this is the latest clash over the rule of law. Poland has been embroiled in a dispute with Brussels over judicial reforms. It has said that it undermines the independence of courts. Warsaw and Brussels have been at loggerheads for several years over issues such as judicial reforms, judicial independence, the rule of law and whether national laws are above the European Union laws. The latest move risks deepening a very bitter standoff which some fear could in fact put Poland's membership of the bloc into complete jeopardy. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.